That's right. It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Fifty-two pallets of big jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. We loaded these yesterday in Floydata, Texas, and made our way back up here to El Reno, Oklahoma, where we parked yesterday to get our break in. And we are heading over here to Edmond, Oklahoma, which is just on the outskirts of Oklahoma City. And we have two drops this morning. Nothing planned for once we're done with that yet. Haven't decided whether we want to try to reload for something for the weekend or try to get a load that bounces us onto the house or just deadhead to the house. We have not made up our mind. All right, we are in Edmond. Just making our way over here to the first drop. We got about two miles uh, left of running around through town here. Now, I was going to come in from a different way, and then oh, I was looking at Google Maps this morning, and it was showing like one of the entrances into the mall may be closed. And if that was the case, then it would kind of, not kind of, it would leave me in a real mess because that's the, it's the road that I have to drive into the back side of the store on. So I'm going to run through here this way so I can make a left onto Bryan Avenue. And there is another entrance where I can make a, make a quick right and back left again and still be able to pull in behind the place. I didn't want to go all the way up and then come down Bryant and have to turn across traffic. Well, I enjoyed that five second green light. I just imagine everybody behind me really enjoyed it because they didn't get to go through. Well, one person did. They went ahead and sent it. Now we got a school zone here. Drop us down to 25 miles an hour. dog is over here being whiny. Got up this morning and didn't even think to look at the water bowl. Apparently she got up to drink all her water last night and I didn't feel it this morning before we made our little short drive over here. So I looked back a few minutes ago and she's got the bowl out tossing it around out of the out of the thing that the dog the, the food and water bowl set in. She did, it's a metal bowl and she's just tossing it around back here, looking at me and tossing it some more. And Bryant Avenue is this light right here. If you've driven a truck for a while, you probably know. If you haven't and you're going to, you'll probably learn. Shopping malls ain't the best place to make deliveries. 
it's a lot easier now than it used to be, I guess. I say I guess because I just don't ever do it except for today. But trying to figure out how to get into a shopping center in the past was very, it will be very stressful in cities, which is where the shopping malls are going to be. Now you can look on, now you can look on Google Maps and you can look and see things and get better ideas of how stuff is, how it's supposed to work. Now I have to figure out where this entrance is that I thought I saw. Okay, I think I see it again. I can turn in right here. Coco, get in. And of course. You gotta know where he comes in. I wouldn't be coming in this way, but like I said, the map was showing the other one might be closed. And this is our destination. We'll see about getting unloaded and check back with you here in a little bit. Alright guys, we got the first stop off and now we were heading over to the store on 33rd Street. And see if we can get the final 20 pallets off. Pulled into this one, got all set up and everything just right, and then they ended up wanting me facing the opposite direction, so I had to back back out the road, maneuver my way into the parking lot, and get turned around, get out on the street, and go back in from another entrance. But we got it done.
must have enough room to make it. this close I'm not gonna tie up another day or anything like that I'm just going to head to the house 